I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Wednesday and welcome to Divination Meditation, where we are taking an inquiry card, a tarot card, an oracle, augum, and a room, and seeing what lurks for us in the ether. So our inquiry card at the center of everything, which just to remind you, if you haven't seen these other videos, uh, that's what all of the other divination tools are going to relate back to. But the inquiry card is asking, what am I attracted to? Then the tarot, we see that we have the green woman standing in for the goddess. She represents the womb of nature, being the mistress of animals and the spirit of the wild woman. Then our oracle cow is our oracle card is the sow representing the mother representing the goddess uh, is about generosity nourishment and discovery. Then our agam is tene which is the holly tree, and that is about balance and retribution. Then we have our rune radio representing the journey, having things in right order, being in the proper way to proceed and making progress. So the question: What am I most attracted to? Attract is that attraction is that which catches our interest, uh, whether it is on the intellectual, emotional, physical, or spiritual levels. Surrounding the inquiry is the green woman, the goddess Sao, also representing the goddess Tene, which has the quality of balance and radio that deals with things being in the right, meaning the natural order. So it's all about the goddess this week's and about feminine energy in general. So whether we are talking about female deities, human women, or even female animals, there are common threads. Uh, think creation, nurturing, putting things right, forming connections, and becoming the heartbeat of one's surroundings. And I see this in two ways of this being a source of attraction. First is a, as a role model for women and fully embracing the nature of our own energies and putting them to good use. And the second is men being drawn to the qualities that they do not possess, at least not in quite the same way or in the same measure as what we have them. Now, it is most unfashionable these days to acknowledge differences between the male and the female in many circles, but uh, we're pagans around here, and we understand the reality of the natural order, and that it's better to flow in harmony with those energies rather than attempting to defy them. So uh, probably in this coming week, uh, just look for manifestations of uh, the goddess, female deity, or just feminine energy around you in general. Now for us ladies, uh, we are feminine energy, so uh, we might be on the lookout for particular signs or for opportunities for us to make use of our natural qualities. So that's what I have for this week. Uh, tell me your own impressions in the comments below or uh, come see us on Gilded. Uh, there's a link to join us in the description box. Our server is called Blackbird's Brew. Uh, we are building up our group there. Uh, we're friendly and I hope you will visit us soon. But that'll do it for this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.